Hello viewers, this is Raga now taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate true velocity in relative motion using geometry. Now in lesson 1 you already covered what relative velocity means. So consider two cyclists, cyclist B and cyclist A. Cyclist B is moving with a velocity of 20 meters per second and sees cyclist A as though she is moving with a velocity of 30 meters per second. Now the true velocity of cyclist A can be got from the formula of relative velocity. We know that velocity of A relative to B will be equal to VA minus VB. So when you make VA the subject, we shall get VAB plus VB. Express the velocity of relative velocity in vector form, it will be 30, 0. Express the velocity of cyclist B in vector form, it will be 20, 0. So when we add the two, we shall be able to come up with a true velocity of cyclist A, which is 50, 0. Remember, velocity is a vector quantity, so we have to express in magnitude and direction. Therefore, the true velocity of cyclist A will be 50 meters per second to the east. Now let's go through this problem that was an introduction. So village B is in a direction north 12 degrees west from village A. When a man cycles from A to B at 12 kilometers per hour, the wind appears to be coming from south 50 degrees west. So not that word from. When he returns from B to A, at the same speed, the wind appears to be from due south. So not the word from. Assuming that the velocity of the wind is the same, that assumption is needed throughout. Find by drawing or otherwise its true velocity. So there are two methods you can either draw, that is geometry, or you can use vector method. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at the geometrical method. So first, we have to locate, to locate the initial positions of the two villages. They said, village B is north 12 degrees west from A. So standard A, locate your north 12 degrees west. Take the draw that line, you'll be able to get the position of village B. And in this case, they say that the man tr is traveling from A to B. So we put that arrow at 12 kilometers per hour. And when he's traveling in this direction, the wind appears to be coming from south 50 degrees west. South west, so south 50 degrees west is coming from, so it's coming towards the man. Therefore, we have got this line and got this line. Now the line joining the starting point to the end point will denote the true velocity of the wind. And that comes from the formula of relative velocity. If Vm1 is the ve true velocity of the man, Vw is the true velocity of the wind, then the relative velocity will be given by velocity of the wind minus velocity of the man. When you make this velocity the subject, you shall get relative velocity plus the true velocity of the man. Look at this, relative velocity plus the true velocity of the man. So that gives the true velocity of the wind. On the other hand, when the man returns from B to A, the wind appears to be coming from due south. So the wind appears, that is the relative velocity of the wind. So when we have this line, we have that line. Now the line joining from start to end will denote the relative path, and that will be the right, the, will denote the true velocity of the wind. And it comes from the formula of relative velocity. True velocity of the wind will be equal to relative velocity plus the true velocity of the man. Now that we have got these two split diagrams, velocity diagrams, we have to join because this velocity of the wind is the same throughout the motion. So we shift this diagram, put it this side such that this velocity of the wind coincide. When they coincide, we shall get this triangle. We already know this angle is 12. This is 118. So we can easily get this as 50 angles of a triangle. Or we can get it from here. 
or eating angles. For motion A to B, we have this triangle. This angle is known, this is not known. This velocity is known, this is not known. So we shall let it to be alpha, and that alpha will be equal to 50 minus theta, where theta is from here up to here. Sorry, theta is from here up to here, and 50 is from here up to here. So this remaining angle will be 50 minus theta. So when you use sine rule, we shall get VW over sine, VW over sine 118 degrees is equal to 12 over sine alpha. And that alpha is 50 minus theta. So we have got one equation, call it equation one. Then go to motion B to A. From B to A, we have that triangle. We know this angle, we don't know this velocity. We know this velocity, we don't know this angle theta. So we shall still use sine rule. VW, VW over sine 12 is equal to 12 over sine 50, which is sine theta, which is that. So we make VW the subject to get an, a second equation. When we equate these two, we shall come up with this. From here, we shall cross multiply. This goes this side, and this goes this side to get this line. Now, from that line, we have to expand this sine 50 minus theta. It becomes sine 50 cos theta minus cos theta sine cos sorry cos 50 sine theta. So we get that. After that, this we shall divide through by cos theta. So when you divide through by cos theta, this sine over cos theta will become tan theta. In this case, cos over cos will become 1. So we only remain with sine 50. Then sine theta and cos theta will give you tan. After getting that, we shall now rearrange, correct like terms, push tan theta on one side and the rest on the other side which is this step we have done. From there we shall make tan theta the subject, which is that. When you use a calculator we shall be able to come up with our theta, which is 8.9058. Now from equation 2 we know that Vw, the rest of the wind, is 12 sine 12 over sine theta, which is 8.9058. When you use a calculator we shall come up with our velocity. Then we conclude that the true velocity of the wind is 16.1161 kilometers per hour in the direction north 8.9058 degrees east. That has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Please tune in to my YouTube channel, ROA e-learning platform. I remain Wagada Ronald. Thank you.